<laughs> I'm here somewhere. <laughs> Howdy y'all, it's Andy and Barbara and uh, we're out today playing again on the dredge, uh, the big dredge tailings. Easy for you to say. It seems like it should be easy for me to say, but apparently it is not easy for me to say. But as you can see behind me, we have those wonderful giant bucket dredge tailing piles. By giant? How giant is giant? 40 feet tall? In theory, what we're standing on is probably 40 feet from the bottom of the actual tailing pile uh, as far as what they dumped here. And our plan today was to take the SDC, which is, yeah, what we started out with. Hey, I'm an SDC now. Uh, was take the SDC out here and poke around a little bit and see if we could find anything that maybe is out here. So we're going to go dig on top of one of these tailing piles a little bit. My plan is kind of to just take the, I don't know, top 14, 18 inches off of one of these piles. Uh, scrape it down, metal detect it, scrape it down some more, metal detect it, scrape it down some more, metal detect it, just keep pulling it out into a flat plane so we can run the detector over and see if maybe there's a big chunk of something that got missed here somewhere. Uh, obviously these old dredge barges, uh, the giant buckets would scoop stuff up, they would drop those gravels into a big trommel and the big trommel would, would sort things out. The smaller stuff would fall through to the sluice box until finally the biggest stuff, which my understanding is usually about, I think, a one inch or so, would go out the end of the trommel. Uh, and anything smaller than one inch would drop down into the sluice box. So that kind of means that if there was a chunk of host rock or a chunk of quartz and all of these uh, old tertiary gravels that are out here, uh, it may have gone right through this thing and shot right out the back end of the tailing piles. There might be big, big chunks of rock here that have some kind of gold in them. So we have uh, probably <laughs> millions and billions of metric tons of gravels here that we could play with. Uh, don't think that I'm up to moving millions and billions of tons, and they'd probably yell at us if we move too much of this stuff. So, uh, But yeah, it'd we're going to... It'd be a great workout, though. <laughs> it'd be one <laughs> hell of a workout. So we're gonna we're gonna go dig, run the metal detector, see what we find. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we won't. Either way, it'll be a good day. Either way, it'll be a great day. It's really pretty out here. All right, let's get to it and see what we can find. See how it's like powder sugar? Yeah. And that was a clumpy ball. So that was a clay ball. Which is one of the things that we're looking for out here. Yeah, because in theory the clay balls, when they went through the sloughs, could have picked up gold and washed them right out. So this actually could be a good spot. I'm starting to pull in here if I'm already finding a clay ball. So let's get up close and personal with some of these tailing piles here just to kind of show you what we're looking at. So obviously these all came out the back end of that big bucket dredge and deposited in these crescent shaped piles that we see. And what we've got, as you can tell, is a lot of really well-rounded old river gravels. And some of it, like this piece of quartz right here, is 
stuff that may have been gold bearing at some point in time. Uh, in my poking around out here, I have found a few interesting pieces of quartz that had uh, looked like some magnetite running through them, broke them open. There was some some rusty little vugs, but I wasn't really finding anything that I uh, you know thought was of great interest, like take her home and crush her up or anything like that. But it's interesting material, and uh, it kind of gives you an idea of. The large stuff, my hand for your example, and my hand is not small, down to the small size stuff, the small size gravels that were making it off uh, through the trommel and either washing out of the sluice box or shooting off the belt off of the back end of that uh, giant bucket dredge. So it's an interesting pile of stuff. And like I said, based on the range you've got here, you never know. You know, you could find something this size that managed to make it off the dredge, but uh, had some nice gold in it. Here's a nice piece of really dirty, rusty, quartzy stuff. I'm going to have to take that metal detector to that. That could be interesting. But that's kind of the whole idea is just see if we can find any of these chunks of stuff that uh, might have some gold in them that just flew right off the back end of these great big bucket dredges. So I found another interesting thing while I was poking through these piles. You'll notice the majority of these box cobbles are all big, round river rocks. And then one of these things was not like the other. And that would be this piece. You'll notice that there is nothing round or angular, or I should say smooth, about this. This is a very angular, very interesting chunk of rock and this could very well have been where the buckets on the dredge were scraping the bedrock at the bottom of the ancient channel and breaking off chunks of that old bedrock so what i may have just found is an indicator that this area of this tailing pile that i'm walking in here's another piece right here could very well have been where they were scraping the bottom you know, that side looks water-worn, but that doesn't look like tumbled water-worn, and it's very broken up. So that could very well have been where the dredge was scraping the bedrock on the bottom and breaking off chunks. Something interesting. So this is a spot where I put the... Insta360 X3 up on a 10-foot pole, and it was supposed to be watching us take the top off of one of these piles and metal detecting it, but the X3 didn't do its thing for whatever reason, and we didn't get that footage, so you'll have to use your imagination. Anyway, moving along. So just to give you some idea, when we started on the top of this particular dredge pile, it looked like that. Now... It looks like this. We flattened the top off, pulled a lot of the big cobbles, and dug it down a couple of feet off the top. And, well, we didn't find any gold. We did find some juicy looking quartz over there, but we did not find any good gold, but we tried. But we probably took 14, 18 inches off the top of this hill. So we tried. I uh, guess we're just going to go out and go poke around and metal detect around and see what we find. Since our little hole here wasn't real productive.
sorry. I gotta move slowly on this. I don't want to fall anymore. Yep, these rocks are treacherous. It's not loud like the others. No, it could be something there. It wasn't an overload, but it was. I need a clean spot. already checked that one. That was there. Half in and out. Okay. At least that's what I'm hearing. That clean spot? No, it just sounds like the background. Sorry, still learning this detector. Might as well go back to your screamer. Nothing, right? Nope. It was a screamer, so if it was in your scoop, you would know it because it was screaming. Got it. Yep, yep. What is it? Shotgun shell. Uh, another shotgun shell. <laughs> Sorry. In the pouch. The way these cobbles break off, it's just interesting. Yeah. Me, like it could be. You're probably going to have to carefully stand up and or scooch down. <laughs> you don't ask much because you do have like your keys hanging there and your GPS. I and... know. That waiver is cute. I got it. I think you got it. <laughs> Probably another shotgun shell. Probably right another shotgun shell. Being that loud. That loud. You got it. You're not a 
throw the foam away. Check it. Yeah, big old piece of lead. I am the lead king again. <laughs> yeah, her barber is because she's sweeping the detector. So. Nothing, right? Nope. It was a screamer. So, if it was in your scoop, you would know it because it was screaming. What is it? Shotgun shell. Uh, another shotgun shell. <laughs> Sorry. In the pouch. Check it. Yeah, big old piece of lead. I am the lead king again. <laughs> yeah, her barber is because she's sweeping the detector, so. Yeah, it's not coming up with anything now. All right, can you fill that hole? Thank you. Like I did we were not never fall here. down into that. <laughs> what? Just because it might be like brain eating amoeba land or something? I'd have to have a brain to be worried about that. Not going there. I'm a smart husband. That's a screamer. 
probably. Somewhere. There's a helicopter coming. Probably the helicopter checking the river. Somewhere right around here. Gold, I'm the one who found it because you lost mine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching for the. Oh, there it is. Holy bird. Okay, right in here. Right Maybe more over this way. Okay, give me the green scoop in your hand. Got it. Yep, oh, yep. Yep, it's another shotgun. Oh. In the pouch with the rest of the trash. Probably another one in there. Right in there somewhere. Yep, oh, yep, another shotgun pellet or a shotgun shell. Old one. Been out here a couple days. Now this one's going up to start. So that one might have promise. Somewhere right around here. Here. It's getting louder. This will probably be a piece of lead. Still up there. the good old lead. Yep. That was lead. Gotta love it. That sounds like another damn shell. Yes, it is. It's gonna be 
right in this trio of rocks somewhere. There it is. We're getting good at this. Yeah. Damn people need to uh, pick up after themselves when they're out shooting. It's yep. ridiculous. Place your casings. You know, like we do. Leave nothing but holes. <laughs> <laughs> Take only the gold and the trash and the nails and the lead. And in this case, lots and lots of shotgun shells. Uh, I'm getting in treacherous spot. Yeah. And I'm getting sick of finding shotgun shells, which may be the downside to being next to this water. Well, we're back at the truck. We didn't find any gold. No. We found a lot of shotgun shells. Lots, lots and lots shots. and lots of shotgun shells. A uh, few pieces of lead, no gold, nothing real interesting. We learned how to use our metal detector. We definitely got some good experience with the uh, SDC metal detector. So now I'm a little more familiar with what it sounds like. Barbara's a little more familiar with what it sounds like. So when we take it out into some really good places, hopefully yeah, we'll be able to identify what's going on because this was the first trip with the new SDC metal detector. So, You know what I did get? What did you get? I renewed my bruise collection. You renewed your bruise collection. You fell seven times on these rocks. Yeah, these these rocks. rocks are hard to walk on. So, Whee! Ouch, 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 <laughs> ouch. Lots of ouch. Lots of F-bombs. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for us. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Have fun. Stay hydrated. Bye.